turn towards the pitcher with your front shoulder down and in. Step towards the pitcher so that your momentum and weight are going right back towards the pitcher. Hey everybody, Alex here with, yeah, yet another 1954 Topps card. I can hear some of you laughing already. Really, man, are you actually building this set and not admitting to it? I keep saying I'm not. And yet, once again, 1954 Topps. This time, Mr. Ted Williams, once again in a PSA 2. What can I say? These cards are on my list, and I've just been having some good luck lately with, with twos. I don't know what's going on at PSA, but whoever's been giving these cards a two, um, in my opinion, is really undergrading them, and it's fine with me because I'm able to pick these cards up. So I'm really excited to get this card. It's my very first Ted Williams, and it's really nice to see these three cards all together. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this card. Okay, so as you can see here, I was just knocking the PSA grader, but this definitely has some issues, so especially around the edges of the card. The left hand side of this card especially is pretty ragged. The corners are really well rounded, but the nice thing about this is that the actual image itself I think is in great shape. There's hardly any scuffing or paper loss. The image looks fantastic. It's really nicely centered. Uh, the back is kind of in similar shape. You know, the edges are experiencing some chipping and some paper loss, but the image itself is in really nice shape. So all in all, if I can get a two of a Ted Williams card in this shape, I think it presents really nicely and I think it really keeps some consistency going in the kind of cards that I'm finding in these mid-50s cards. So definitely happy to add this card and man, I love seeing these three cards sitting next to each other. Okay, so the name Ted Williams is synonymous with the game of baseball, and there's nothing I'm going to be able to add to that. But I did want to talk about this book that's in the background here. This is actually an article that was written in 1960 after Ted Williams' final game, uh, written by John Updike, and the name of the article was Hub Fans Bid Kid Adieu. And uh, what's interesting is John Updike is a famous writer, but I think this is the only time he actually ever wrote about baseball and he did this in his late 20s so he had actually gone to Ted Williams final game and then wrote about it uh, the article was published and I kept coming across this article being mentioned online whenever I read about Ted Williams people would say this is the greatest baseball article that was ever written and you know that's obviously high praise so I went looking for it and discovered that it had actually been turned into a publication somebody had actually turned it into a book it's like, okay, if you take an article and you publish it as a book, this must be really good. So I went ahead and found it on Amazon. I think it was like $15. And I'll, I'll just put it this way. Um, it lived up to the hype. It's an incredibly well-written article. At one point, he mentions in his final at-bat, it's like the eighth inning. Everybody knows this is going to be the last at-bat. And he said everybody stood up and just started applauding. And he said it wasn't, you know, there weren't cheers. Nobody was hollering. There weren't any boos. It was just pure clapping, like you might see for an orchestra or a conductor. Just everybody stood up and clapped for several minutes. Ted Williams was kind of being a little fidgety, waiting for it to end. But there was this moment where everybody realized that a huge era was about to end and all the memories that went along with it. And My description is not doing it justice. If you're a baseball fan, if you're a Ted Williams fan, you're going to enjoy it. And of course the real fun is how that last at-bat ends up. And if you somehow don't know about that last at-bat, well then you should definitely read this article. You're in for a treat. Alright guys, so thanks so much for checking out the video. Definitely appreciate your support and looking forward to the comments and conversations that will come. And uh, just a heads up, I already know what the next card is that's coming in and it's not a 1954 Tops, so the streak will be broken soon. Until then, take care. Talk to you all soon.